What's up everyone? It's Cassandra from GarageBand 101. So today I'm going to show you how I made this lo-fi beat, the one that you heard at the beginning of the video. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did is that I built a drum kit for my lo-fi drums and I built it inside of the AU sampler, which is the plugin that automatically comes in GarageBand. So here it is. Um, So I built a lo-fi sound kit. I took some sound from the internet. I'm going to leave the, the link in the description if you want to have the sounds that I used. So now I'm going to record the sounds. And before recording, I'm going to see I had no effects, okay? The drums were just recorded as is. There was no effect applied on it. I didn't even think I added EQ. Okay, I, add, I increased the volume a little bit. So now I'm going to record the drums. Okay, now we are going to record some piano chords and the instrument that I've used is an Outerland synth and I've just left it here on the vinyl EP. So I'm going to record it, but I'm just going to pan it to the center like this and then I'm going to start recording. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this track right here and I'm going to pan it completely to the right on one side and completely to the left on the other side so it's going to create a stereo effect. So now let's listen. Okay, now we are going to record the classic electric piano. I'm going to record it as a bass. Okay, I'm going to play the lower notes on the keyboard and I've added an effect on this track. So if I unmute it, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's kind of like a noise. I did that with a plugin called Isotope Vinyl and it's free. You can download it on the Isotope website and I've basically increased the mechanical noise. So now I'm going to record the classic electric piano. Okay, now that it's recorded, I'm going to record the camera bells. Okay, it's just a little bell at the end just to make it more sad and nostalgic. Okay, now I'm going to record a piano melody with the Steinway Grand Piano and I'm just going to see if I added an effect on it. I've added the Isotope uh, plugin and this is the settings that I've used. You can copy them if you want to have the same thing. I've increased the mechanical noise a little bit and uh, the electric noise also. I've just, I've, I did this by ear and I basically did what sounded good. So I also have a tape delay. Oops, what the fuck am I doing? Now I'm going to record another melody with the Steinway Grand Piano. And if you notice, I panned the Grand Piano, this one, the first one a little bit to the left and this one a little bit to the right just for the mix to sound better. So now I'm going to record that. Okay. 
Okay, let's see the sound that I've used. I've also used the isotope vinyl. And by the way, the isotope vinyl, I almost use it on every single track just to make it more wide. I've put it on stereo. If you put it on stereo, it can make your sound more... Uh, it can make your sound sound more ambient. I think it's better for the mix. But I've just put it on stereo and I've tweaked a little bit of the setting. It's a little bit similar to the first piano that I've recorded. So now I'm going to record a deep sub bass. Okay, so now all of our instruments are recorded. I'm going to put all of the vinyl sounds and I'm going to show you where I got them from. And I'm just going to cancel the electric brand piano for the moment because there's like that background noise and it annoys me. Okay, so the sound that I've used for the vinyl, I've added some more vinyl crackles, okay? I basically took this sound right here and I sampled it and I put it inside of the session. And basically what I did is that I just took some part of the video, well, the this thing right here, the sounds, and I pan one sound completely to the right and one completely to the left, just to have a more stereo effect. Okay, so this is how it sounds. And I've also added uh, some rain sounds, so... I just took a video, I think it's this one. Okay, so now I'm going to add the rain sound. And basically what I did is I did the same thing as for the vinyl crackles. I panned one completely to the right and another one completely to the left. Just like this, and now let's listen. Okay, and now I've added some uh, interview because in every single lo-fi lo song that I've listened to, there's like some 60s vintage voice. So I took an interview from Leonard Cohen, this one. How does it affect you when you read a poem? But Other parts of yourself. Seem so to yourself. So basically I've took some part of that interview and I've added it into the project. So now I'm going to add the interview vocals from Leonard Cohen inside of the session. So there it is. So now let's listen. How does it affect you when you read a poem that you forgot? Is it like reading something written by someone else? Well, this time I was just taking it because, you know, I, uh, for the purposes of continuity. Okay, now it sounds a little bit chaotic, but I'm going to arrange everything and I'm going to show you the final version. But this is basically what I've done. I haven't quantized the drums because I wanted to have a little bit of a... Uh, something that was out of rhythm a little bit because I've heard that a lot of people who do lo-fi music, they purposely make their beats out of rhythm. I guess it gives it a little bit of groove. But uh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to leave every single thing that I've used, every single plugin, the vinyl isotope thing is going to be in the description. And I'm also going to leave the link for the, what's that other shit? Yeah, yeah, the drum kits that I've used. So I'm going to... Uh, make an arrangement of everything and then I'm going to get back to you with the final version. Okay guys, so this is the final version. I've arranged the project and I've did a little bit of mixing, but it's not completely mixed, but I'm still going to make you listen to the final version. And let me know if you like the track. Maybe I'll make a SoundCloud and I'll also start uploading some of the tracks that I make in GarageBand. So now I'm going to make you listen to the final version of my lo-fi beat inside of GarageBand. Thank you for watching. Bra bra bra. How does it affect you when you read a poem that you've forgotten? Is it like reading something written by someone else? Well, this time I was just taking it because, of, you know, I, uh, for the purposes of continuity, I had to read this poem, but I, I hadn't read it for some time, and uh, I left out a verse, and uh, I'd forgotten the meaning of the whole poem.
performed his acrobatics and plate balancing in front of a statue of the Virgin. Well, I think it really comes down to that. You really do uh, what sings.